that much more visceral and kind of involving. So the performance feels very similar to a Ferrari 348. And the 348 was the car after the 308 came the 328, and then the 348 came after the 328. And the 348 was a pretty big deal when it came out. It was pretty technologically advanced. And the performance of this car now feels very similar to a 348 as far as the acceleration, which isn't surprising because it has about the same amount of horsepower. So. really just likes to rev from all the way to redline. I'm taking it to 7,500 RPM, no problem. It gets there so quickly. And um, so really just uh, feels fantastic. It's a great engine um, and it's just got the power that this car needs. 303 horsepower and about 270 foot-pounds of torque, but the driving experience is completely transformed in this car. And 
it just, it's the kind of power that the chassis kind of needs, you know? I'm in second gear right now. steering so you got to muscle it around at slow speeds but once you're on a fast kind of open road like the one I'm on now uh, with some s-curves it just the steering weight is perfect feels terrific so this car has for suspension rebuilt Coney coilovers which is what it would have come with originally and they feel fresh they feel good on a road like this it's kind of bumpy it, you know if you run into two um, bumps and ruts and whatnot it, it wanders a little bit but the uh, it feels very planted and doesn't roll uh, too much, uh, you know, it's, it corners relatively flatly. It is even a GTS like this, which is, you know, not a um, not as rigid as a GTB, which is a coupe, uh, but the extra power just really makes you realize what a great, fundamentally what a great chassis this is, because it handles really great, and it handles the added power. And I've driven like a turbo 308 that had about 400 wheel horsepower, and they take the power. Like, they definitely can use way more horsepower than than they came equipped with originally. And, uh, you know, so a uh, car like this with a bigger engine really is a transformed car. It's, I mean, a 308, this is a fantastic car, beautiful pin and Farina styling. You know, these cars just keep on getting better looking with age, for sure. Um, this is a unique driving experience. We have this amazing gated shifter. Um, such an analog drive. So you have these, you know, amazing uh, Veglia gauges here. These fenders that come up on either side. Uh, laid back driving position. It's so Italian. Uh, the gated shifter, you know, downshifting in the car just feels so good. Like I said, power, no power steering. It's heavy at slow speeds, perfect at higher speeds. That's no wonder that the values of these cars are definitely going up. Driving extremely slow. 